Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's £11 million Californian mansion's lush gardens could be under threat after a stop watering notice was issued. The Duke and Duchess splash out a reported £15,000 a month on maintaining their garden which includes immaculately pruned roses, blooming lavender bushes and century-old olive trees, according to estimations by a luxury hotel. Maintaining this luscious outdoor space is now under threat after authorities in the LA state issued a stop watering notice last month. It threatens to push up the already eye-watering cost of tending to their sprawling estate which is located in the exclusive community east of Santa Barbara. Residents have been instructed to preserve water as a result of a drought that could trigger wildfires in the state's arid landscape. Anyone caught falling foul of the rules will face fines of up to £370. Violations include watering the grass within 48 hours of rainfall, filling decorative fountains and washing cars without a shut-off nozzle on the hose. It comes after mid-December saw 80% of the state fall under extreme or exceptional drought conditions. The new rules will last a year and there are no exceptions for golf courses or other recreational facilities. One local water expert, who did not wish to be named, told The Telegraph, there is only a certain amount of available water for the community, no one really knows how much. Why should the wealthy be able to drain these community water sources at will, from their private wells without oversight, only to sustain lush green lawns and gardens? Residents who exceed their monthly allowance are penalized and billed in increasingly higher price tiers. The royal couple's neighbor Oprah Winfrey, who interviewed them for their bombshell chat last March, is also set to be affected by the move. It emerged as a royal expert claimed that the content proposed for the couples with Netflix didn't exactly sound like they will be setting viewers or Hollywood on fire. Royal commentator Danielle Elza said that more than 14 months on from signing a deal the couple have yet to deliver content. Writing in the New Zealand Herald, she said, more than 14 months ago, in September 2020, when their money-making marriage with the streaming was first revealed, they loftily promised they would be making content that informs but also gives hope. Good oh then, but where is it? However, Ms. Elza claims that while the content could be touching and powerful, it might not make an impact with audiences. She wrote, these might both prove to be touching and powerful shows but on paper, they don't exactly sound like they will be setting viewers or Hollywood on fire. She did point out, however, that the delay could be because high-quality TV and documentaries can be time-consuming to create, and it's a situation made that much more difficult by the pandemic.